At least 18 people were killed and several others injured when a six-story church building collapsed in eastern Ghana, a local official has said. While rescue teams rescued eight people, 18 bodies were pulled out of the rubble of the building located in the Asene Mansu district on Thursday, said Richard Amon Jatse, a director at the National Disaster Management Organization. Fearing the number of casualties may rise, he said search and rescue efforts are still ongoing and the injured have been taken to different hospitals. Yate, however, did not provide any detail on what caused the collapse. Local media reported that more than 60 people were present at the site when the accident took place. The Nigerian president, Muhammadu Buhari, Thursday night in a national TV address, spoke about the unrest that has gripped his country in recent days. Buhari, in his speech, however, notably, did not mention the shootings of peaceful protesters on Tuesday night in Lagos, the commercial nerve center of the West African state, that prompted international outrage. Former Malian President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita returned to Bamako on Thursday after more than a month in the United Arab Emirates, where he was receiving medical attention. The West African country he ruled until mid-August has new leaders. Keita was deposed by the military after weeks of civilian protests against his rule. The junta ruled briefly before appointing former Defense Minister Bandao, transitional president under pressure from regional bloc ECOWAS. Keita supporters said the 75-year-old looked to be in a much better shape. But even with a new president, Mali's problems still remain the same. The country is still beset by a militant insurgency and an economy crisis, just as under Keita, who retained significant influence. It is not clear if the former president, Ibrahim Poubaka Keita, would try to pursue an active role in Mali's politics again. And finally, in Uganda, armed police on Wednesday besieged the campaign headquarters of Bobby Wine, a pop star and politician who is seeking Uganda's presidency, an election set for next year, 2021, an opposition figure said. Police confiscated items such as security cameras and supplies of red berets that are symbols of Wine's popular campaign, David Lewis. Bobongoya, an official with Wine's party, who is at the scene in the Ugandan capital, Kampala, told Newsmed. Wine, a legislator whose real name is Kiagulani Sentamu, was meeting with other leaders of his National Unity Platform party when the police swooped in and cordoned of the area, he said. Wine and other party officials have not been arrested. But in a Twitter post, Wine reported that comrades had been injured after police raided his headquarters and seized documents and other items. A police spokesman did not immediately respond to questions, but authorities frequently accuse Wine and others in the opposition of disobeying orders aimed at protecting public peace. Wine, who has been arrested many times in recent years, has captured the imagination of many Ugandans with his persistent calls for President Yoweri Museveni to retire. My name is Jerry Journey. You can call me the gold of the airwaves and you're watching the Jimaima show.